So this is a video of my little solenoid engine that I built today. And here is the solenoid right here. And here is an iron nail that is the piston, essentially, of the solenoid. It goes in and out like so. And have the crankshaft right here. And then the other little bend in the crankshaft which actually acts as a switch to turn the power on and off to the solenoid. So it basically times itself. So this wire coming from the solenoid here, going over here, then this little bend touches the wire and creates a circuit which puts power through the solenoid, causing it to cycle on and off. And here, that's, this is just a little rubber band to keep the solenoid from flying out on the, on the outstroke. So it takes a lot of current. So I'm going to hook it here to my high-powered uh, Hewlett-Packard power supply. And now it's hooked up. I'll give it a spin. Takes a little bit to start sometimes. Maybe a little more power might be necessary. There it goes. So it, it, it's all in the alignment of this little wire right here. There we well. Just doesn't have quite enough momentum to get it going. Okay, I turned the voltage up a little bit. Hopefully that will make it run. And there we go. It is running. My flywheel is very crude, but it does work. And I got this idea from another person's video on YouTube with some modifications of my own. I forget their username, but this is just a little solenoid engine that I built today, so that I just make a video of it. It's super simple, no Arduinos, not even a transistor involved here. And you really don't need a special power supply for this, I mean you could just use a car battery or something, but you'd probably fry, fry your solenoid pretty quick that way, but it'd still be fun. Okay, when it gets hot it doesn't like to run so well, so I guess that has to be it for now.